One of the things that we do, and for those of you folks that uh, don't realize, we annually, we always had the NISCA banquet, it was quite a, quite a show in its own, that we got to honor special people, other than the known awards for drivers, for owners, for what have you. There's also been an award that's been presented, the NISCA President's Award. The NISCA President's Award wasn't given away every year. It wasn't given away with any criteria, but it was given away to an individual or a group that really, really, really was important to the New York State Stock Car Association. Before we move into our driver's awards, the NISCA President's Award, I'm gonna have Rick hand it out here in a minute, but it's gonna to go to an individual that we've called on many, many times to help us out, whether it's a banquet, whether it's the Hall of Fame, help, gonna help us out here today, as a matter of fact. Gonna make his way on stage, I'm gonna read the plaque for you. The NISCA President's Award in sincere appreciation for your time and dedication to racing we couldn't even begin to list the things you have done for the sport. It is appreciated and does not go unnoticed. NISCA would also like to thank you for all the times that you have graciously agreed to assist us with our Hall of Fame ceremonies. Presented on May 5th, 2024, the NISCA President's Award goes to my good friend, Shane Andrews. Gonna hand it off to Rick to present to the voice and come on, I cleared the road for you. Now you gotta go get your picture taken. I don't know what the hell to do. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the uh, tables get turned on us and the son of a bitch brought crayons with him. <laughs> That's him. I just want to say on a personal note, it's been almost 30 years ago, I got called to help out at Fulton Speedway for the Victoria 200. It was when Freddie Osmond broke his leg down at five mile. That was the first year that I got to work with Shane Andrews. I have worked almost every year at some kind of an event somewhere with Shane, whether it's been at a racetrack, been at a function, whatever the, the situation has called. More than once, I've had to call him for help. Called him for help to help out with the banquet. I've called on him to help with the Hall of Fames. He was called this year. He's gonna do two of the inductions of the three special drivers we've got today. Shane has never said no. There's been times where his schedule has not permitted that he said, I can't do it, but he never said no. He said, if I can do it, I will. And that's Shane Andrews. Anybody that knows Shane Andrews knows he's one of the most giving people on a personal note, Chain and I's friendship go much further. Um, I got hurt a little over 10 years ago. One of the first phone calls I got when I was in the hospital was from my good friend, Shane Andrews. And a working relationship, yes, but a friendship that'll go forever. Ladies and gentlemen, the recipient of the President's Award, Shane Andrews. I'm gonna turn it over to you, I know, it's, us guys just like to talk. Like I said, I don't know what to do. All right, well, I think you know what to do. It's, it's one of the few times we don't get paid to talk, is what it is. <laughs> hold on, uh, if there's anything I've learned, hold on, I gotta adjust this here, thank you. If there's anything I've learned over the years is that uh, as you get older, you get cooler, so. I gotta put on my cool glasses to be able to do this. Uh, first and foremost, good afternoon. And uh, I'm speechless. Thank you, uh, the New York State Stock Car Association for that award. Dan, thank you for your kind words. Rick, uh, thank you. I literally, I, I, I don't know what the hell to say, really. Um, I've made a, a side income and a side gig of babbling on like a complete jackass over the years. and. All I can do is say thank you. I'm very humbled. Thank you. 